There are over 7.7 .7 billion people on planet Earth, and everyone has their own story to tell. So my friends Xenon, Josh, and I decided to introduce you to some interesting people. In this video, we spoke to members of marginalized groups about their experiences, common misconceptions, and show that we're not all that different. Can you all state your name? My name is Patricia Deaton. And my name is Fyann Deaton. Hey, where are you all from? We're from here, Lubbock. Hey, my name is Harsh Wadwani, and I'm an international student at Texas Tech. I'm from India and I'm 20 years old. My name is Jennifer Moyes. I'm 20. I'm from Houston, Texas. I am Karina Negrete and I am a first generation student. My name is Darius Dwayne. I am 20 years old. I am a gay male. I'm from Baton Rouge, Louisiana, but I currently reside in Houston, Texas. Uh, my name is Fayan Deaton and I am in Special Olympics Oil Blast team. What are some like major things that get represented more in the media? Special needs children. That they're just difficult. They they think they can't do anything. That back in the back years ago they used to just lock them up. They put them in mental institutions, and now we're proving them wrong. We're showing that they are capable of doing everything that anybody else can do. They just learn a little different. So times have changed quite a bit because of the, the media is helping us get recognition for these individuals. One of the biggest stereotypes is that uh, a lot of Indians don't know English. Um, this is especially untrue because we learn uh, our schooling is done in English and we and India happens to be the second largest in English speaking country in the world. Like some people say, oh you talk different. Like you're not actually you're not black. Well I am black. I just don't have the personality of what you would say is ghetto. For me, um, being gay, the main stereotype that I would say for me would probably be all of my friends are girls and they're my best friends and I'm lucky that I'm friends with them because she's so hot or this and that and um, or another one that I have is that because I'm gay but also because I'm black I'm very very sassy and I'm very ghetto and I can just you know like so uh, I would say that's probably the main two. I feel like for what I'm majoring in which is journalism and I want to go into sports just being a girl already I have not an advantage because there's, it's so overrun by males and if you're a female you have to be like the certain status quo beauty standard in America. Now they're just kind of integrating some minorities in there and I feel like it's just it's going to be a little hard to get a footing into that industry. If you're going through a hard time or you have like you know someone yeah someone discriminating against you or stuff like that I would just say stay positive. I'm always about positive positive positivity. Positivity is key just you know what you give out comes back. The law of attraction is real. If you speak it into existence it will happen. Um, so just stay positive, keep your head up, just keep being you and keep being you unapologetically. Find people that have the same interests and the same values as you do. Um, then don't just try to fit in, just to try to feel included. Just always, um, always volunteer and always help a helping friend, even even my friends and just always talk to them and ask them anything and they'll they'll tell you anything mm -hmm. well i am passionate about makeup actually uh as you can tell this is my makeup studio um i do dancing i um i also um, do art um i get creative with m mosaic i am passionate about uh designing video games uh, for computers and consoles and mobile phones. Something that I'm passionate about is doing music. I try to work on different music. I mean, still focus on school, but that's my real passion. Next time you see someone in a bad situation, you should get involved. Even if you're scared to get involved, I say get involved because that person may not be used to the environment as you are and it could be a very scary situation when they're in a new situation like that. So I'd say get involved whichever way you can to de-escalate the situation. 